after Christian Jean-Claude wrapped Coast, I decided that if I can organize the wrapping of a coastline, I can probably start a small business on my own. So Christo not only gave me the opportunity to start art projects, but he also gave me the courage to start my own business. So on my next trip to New York, I saw a lot of Christo and Jean-Claude, and I asked, well, who would you suggest for the next project? And they said, well, why don't you do something different? They were very friendly, and I have met him, a Swiss curator called Harold Zeman who was at the beginning of a very illustrious career. He completely changed the concept of curating. Curators usually were people stuck in offices just arranging paintings or sculptures of the museum collections. Harold decided to break out and to commission artists to quite innovative exhibitions that went beyond the normal museum realm. Harold Seaman became really famous with an exhibition entitled When Attitudes Become Form. It's an exhibition that he arranged to travel all over the capital cities of Europe. I thought, well, that's an interesting idea to get a curator instead of an artist. And I have another reason for it, as Harold was appointed director of the documenta. And I thought if he looks at Australian artists, he just may select one or two to be in the documenta, which is the most famous contemporary international art exhibition. Christo introduced me to Harold and we again got on very well. Turned out that his grandfather was Hungarian, so we had something in common way back. He came to Australia and he was like a whirlwind. He kept a diary, which is well documented in the archives, and he visited as many artist studios as he could in Sydney, Melbourne, Tasmania, Adelaide, I believe. And he selected a number of young Australian artists. We had two exhibitions, one at the Kimber Nathan Galleries in Sydney and at the National Gallery in Melbourne. Apparently, it was the first conceptual art exhibition ever in Australia. So again, it was groundbreaking in a way, and it gave young Australian artists an opportunity to meet a young, energetic, international, contemporary art curator. Of course, the publicity and everything around it was much more curtailed than that of the Cristo, which went all over the place, but that was never my purpose, just to have the publicity was really to connect with Australian artists and Australian publics. And I believe his visit was a great introduction and education success for the young artistic community. While his trip went well and the exhibitions looked good, to my great pity, he didn't select any Australian artist for the documenta.